We've got the meanest trail pranks that you have to try. Come up right okay. now. Hey, hello, hello, and hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and with me today is the only man who uses bug guts as toothpaste, giving him that shiny brown smile, Carl Manrioli. <laughs> there he oh, is, gross. the legend himself. Welcome to the Bad Packing Delicious Podcast. With me today is Derek Somerville. He's a man that thinks that doctors who prank their patients are called psychologists. Oh, wow. Never gets old. Never gets old. You sleep with those jokes and you love them. I love it. <laughs> Dream about them. Dream All about right. Them. So we've got a trail. We've never done a trail pranks episode, my friend. We haven't. No. In we seven talked years. about it. We talked about pranks, right? We haven't addressed pranks directly like this. Yeah. Not this for a full good. episode. Yeah. I, I, and we've, we've got like ideas, a ton of ideas from our past trail pranks to future trail pranks, ones that we might do this summer. We got all sorts of goodies. Yeah, hopefully nobody writes in and says, was this episode a prank? Because it was so bad, right? Hopefully no, this I, is a fun episode for everybody. This one's coming out before April 1st, so I don't think that they could. They this would be that. good fodder for people if you want to prank your uh, your buddies. Yeah, and so we've got, we, we're calling the mean trail pranks, but really, at least for me, I like to do trail pranks that are not mean-spirited. It doesn't do always work out. I, yeah, I try. Do well, am I, am I wrong? Have, have you ever uh, felt really bad about yourself based on a prank that I've done? Like you felt really bad about yourself. Oh, well, I'm more thinking of other people. No, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I felt uh, duped once. Oh yeah, that's part of the deal, right? But that was that was a good. It was a it was a legit prank. I mean, I think I even said it was it was a good prank. Okay, you got me. You definitely got me on this. Yeah. I, I'm sure you'll talk about it. So we'll talk. Yeah, we're gonna oh, go yeah. through all of them. We, we have a lot of them that we've been putting out. It, like not just in our documentaries that we put out, you know, from years past, but also on YouTube shorts. We kind of revisit some of those. We'll, we should put one out this week. We will have one out this week too. We'll find out. Let's get them out there. Okay. All right. So, so we're going to review those and come up with some new ones, but first we got uh, our Bible verse of the episode, Proverbs 10, 23, doing mm -hmm. wrong is like a joke to a fool, but wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. Ooh, it's deep. Are pranks doing wrong by others? But sometimes, okay. Sometimes, Carl, do you tell? I think. Well, here's what I think. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down. If you don't Please. have, if you don't have a rapport, mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, with, with the good. people, yeah, then the the pranks gonna land wrong, right? So, mm -hmm. like in the past, when me and some buddies used to sabotage some of our friends that were either girls or guys, whether we like go to their house and like throw manure all over their driveway or like <laughs> what? Put a, what? Put a, put a couch you went with... to somebody's house and threw manure over their driveway. <laughs> we hooked up the door with the hose and we had them like open the door and the hose squirted through the door. We put couches with dog food. We dropped off dryers and in, in uh, dryers and washing machines on the driveway. We put couch cushions in the in the jacuzzi. We put what? sand in, I heard any of this stuff. Sand inside the houses. I mean it was it was bad. It was really bad. Hopefully the you, police aren't listening. You you are the culprit for those types of pranks is what you're saying. Correct. Yeah. Those, you, those for the most part, I don't know why we kept doing them. For the most part, they would always backfire and somebody like one of the girls or one of the guys would be like legit upset. Uh, I'm like, I wonder why. Because those are mean spirited. Those are and mean. then they would get us back like they would cut. I think it was Nolton's wife and some friends. They cut the power on Super Bowl Sunday right at halftime. They did at the house, and we had to go somewhere else to watch the game. That was pretty. Derek's talking about he they used to host Super Bowl Sunday years ago, and so they had a big old party. Yep. And as revenge, they they didn't cut, they think they just like unplugged the cable from the cable box or something. No, like they had a a cable. One of them knew a cable guy. Okay, and he came and helped them like disconnect the cable, so he couldn't get it back on. Dude, that guy's got to get fired for that, right? Like, I would think at the time, I'm like, I didn't even think of that though, because we didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Genius. Tell on him. You should have told on him. So genius. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we, in retrospect, yeah, that you probably deserve that. But those are all mean spirit. We don't want to be that mean spirit. We don't want people angry. We want people like, oh, you got me. We want people. Yeah. We're yeah. calling these mean trail pranks. I think, yeah, I'm with you. If you don't have the right rapport with the person. So the hope is you have the rapport. And I'm going to, I might, yeah, I might explain to you how, how these can really go mean like especially on our future trip, and so you you can you know like I would never do a prank where because I know you hate mice, and I know mm -hmm. like like I'm never gonna do a prank where you like fall into poop, you know something gross like, <laughs> well, that. like Biff and manure, like Biff and manure, <laughs> okay. you know. 
All right. Well, we Something can talk like about that. pranks that, yeah, that t- take it too far. You had a suggestion a couple of years back that we never did that I thought took it too far. We can talk about that stuff too. Oh, I'll so, talk about it. Yeah. yeah. So, we, so buckle up, everybody, because uh, I'm sure I'm this sure. is going to be a doozy here. All right. So here we go. Let's go. Here we go. All right. So let's start off with the pranks that we've already done. All right. Let's let's go with. It'd be awesome if you could go chronological, so you can see like the minor oh. or major escalation. I don't know if I can remember that far back. Okay. It well, started with the cinnamon bears. Okay. Was that what it was? Kind of close. It's like trash, right? Trash. Yeah. Like a wrapper here, yeah. a wrapper there. You get home, you find it in your pack, or like three right. days into the trip, you're like, why is this some? Oh, he got me. Yeah. You just know. putting trash in his pa- pack. That's like, you know, lightweight. Like level one. Level one. Level one minor. Okay. Like if you're not putting trash in your friend's backpack, are you really having fun? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let's start there. I think I value creativity and I, I value. I value next level stuff. And so for me, I'm like kind of over that personally. You're, you're not you're gonna, above the trash. You're above it. If you, if, if I find the trash, I'm like, eh, all right, whatever. I'm not like, you got me. I don't really care. Right. It's right, so right. lightweight. It doesn't matter that much. So I don't, right. that's not going to offend me or bother me. Um, here's where you escalated it. This is back. This is a few oh, years yeah. back. It so we're in still Glacier bothers National you. Park. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think you understand like how much effort I had to go through <laughs> to fix this. This is when Derek yeah. got like, I don't know. It was like a don't like dramatize a, it. I'm going to correct. <laughs> I'm going to correct the dramatization. Tell your version. He got of like an analogy bottle full of salmon juice and then he pours it down. <laughs> <laughs> the drama. He got like queen. a salmon packet and he put it like back behind or like next to the frame of my backpack and it sat there for the last like day of the trip until I got home basically. When I put it in though. To be fair, it was like a what three inch by four inch or five inch thing, and yeah. I I sealed it and then put it back there. Now I don't know if there's any like residue. There's probably some no, residue really wasn't juice. Sealed. This is like I mean, it wasn't memory. sealed. Well, then maybe it came unsealed. I made sure it was sealed. Oh, are you talking about like on the packet itself? The like packet, it had a ziplock on the packet. It had this, I, I, oh, I remember yeah. sealing it. I don't know what happened to it after that, but maybe there was better. There's like it, in the in the top part of the, like the, the part that you peel. There's still salmon. That's what I'm saying. That. That's yeah, what I'm saying. So. At the top, maybe there was some juice and pieces. Yeah, of, of course, of course. So, rank. I probably, I want to say, I spent at least twenty bucks to clean the thing, to clean the pack. I tried, you know, the baking soda. I ended up having to use like some sort of like car air sterilizer, mm. and, but then it made the pack smell like whatever scent that was, and, and I had to air it out for <laughs> for weeks. Like I'm not joking, man. It was for weeks. I didn't like that one. So, so uh, what's your Venmo? I'll send you twenty dollars. Carl, really? okay. I'll take yeah. it. Twenty dollars plus inflation. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so then I, I don't know. It's like the next year on our podcast. I told Derek on our upcoming trip, I am going to get you to carry something mm. from my pack, and you're going to choose to do so. Mm. So we mm. were in Olympic National Park, and how did it go down, Derek? That was probably your best executed break oh, yeah. oh, of all time. Hundred percent. Because so you you. He got this bag of like food and snacks, like a big old bag of like tons of food. And I fell for hook, line, and sinker. He leaves it out, but he hikes ahead. I left he it. We're at a rest stop and I, right, I, I right leave right, it next yeah. to my pack. And he made it look like he just left it and forgot it. And right. then, like, I, I don't know if you did you employ Rocky and Knowlton there to like, dude, make sure he, like, you know. No, 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 no. We had the only thing I did was I made sure the camera was on. Mm. and so, so, they the camera, knew, so they knew something was up uh, one of the guys did. yeah one of the guys knew something was up yeah. but you can see the the time frame from me getting up and leaving to you finding the food is seconds yeah it was pretty quick and yeah. i i almost because i think i think i saw it and i was like oh because i saw it on the show i'm like oh i'm gonna prank him with yeah. this bag and i'm like hide right. it and then i didn't even think like about what you had said like months right. before about it so of course i carry it and then and then you stop and you're like you know hey by the way like two miles down the road yeah i got gotcha. you and yeah. i'm like oh no and then everybody's laughing at me it was hilarious and you were so proud of yourself <laughs> it was because i got you I, I predicted it and it worked now you could have actually won that prank because all you had to do was simply leave it right i could have left it and, or i don't know if i i, I want to say rocky almost was it Rocky? One uh, of them almost grabbed it and was going to carry it. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll do I it. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Had you left it and had you ex- like explain to everybody, hey, I want Carl to come back for this. So I would have had to add basically four miles of the day. You would have won that, that round. Note to self, like if there's anything out of the ordinary that happens, like something like that, I have to like pause and be like, mm, yeah, let me just avoid this situation. Right. And like, what are the other guys doing there? They're, they're like happy to leave it. That's strange. 
Like, why are they okay if I take it, but they don't want to take it? Well, they you found it so fast. I think it, it wasn't. I know. I didn't give him a chance. Curious, yeah. I didn't give him a chance. So yeah, so I got you on that one, but you could have gotten me, and uh, you took it well. So you know, props to you for that one. It you was did, a good you, prank. You actually owned up to it. You you know, like the next prank that I did, you did not own up to. You're like, no, no, really, you're pranking yourself, and everybody else realized that I got you again. No, everybody didn't realize it. Okay. You're talking about the rock in the pack? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The rock in the, no, the rock in the pack okay. was ridiculous. All right, so here's you, how this one went down. Please, please. All right, so here's how this. So this is the very next, like July trip. Mm-hmm. We get to camp. I'm down by the lake. I set up the camera to to kind of have some evidence. I grab like a five pound rock and I say, I am gonna put this rock in my pack and carry it up to where we were camping out, and I am gonna pull it out in front of everybody and try to frame Derek. So that was on camera. We have the evidence. I go up, I set it up, I pull it out, and I try to get you and me in the same shot. And it worked out, thank, thankfully. And so all I do is I pull it out. I don't accuse anybody. And you got super serious. You're like, dude, I swear I didn't do it. I swear. That wasn't me, man. I swear. Like, you got so, like, borderline rattle, I want to say. Let's go further back, though, before okay. that rock in the pack. Because there was a there was a trip before that where – there was a rock in your pack and it was pretty good. And you carried it for a while. That. Which trip was that? The original rock in the pack. You remember that? Mm-mm. Which that trip? Me. I finally am going to admit this on camera. I put okay. the rock in your pack originally. It was like a five pound rock. And you got okay. to camp and you're like, are you serious? Who put this rock in my pack? Did you put a rock? And I didn't admit it uh, because you were like legit annoyed. Okay. I think, I think, I don't know. So I there was, had a, that- there, there was a, so because of that prank, we did a trip to Capitol Reef, a Patreon trip, and I had rocks in my pack nonstop. And, and, and that trip, I will say, I didn't do any of those. Yeah, you didn't Other people to. are putting them. Yeah. I didn't need to. But because I originally put a rock in his pack, like a trip before that or something. Mm-hmm. So I had this in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, he's like legit pissed because he kept com- – like before this prank, quote unquote – he would like complain about the rocks in the pack. He's like, I'm so over it. This is seriously yeah. like not cool. Like my feet right. were being an injury, blah, 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 blah. Nobody knew. So he does this. And I wanted him to make sure that he knew that I didn't do it. So of course you like, you come up and I'm like, yo, I'm serious. Like I did not, you know, do this. I think it's on camera. Like I did not put this in your pack, mm. but I was like, you guys kept pushing it. And then I confronted Nolan. And I'm like, Nolan, did you do it? And then he's like lying to my face. I'm like, yeah, he's something's off with him. <laughs> I'm like, this seems like a setup. <laughs> hey, you didn't, you didn't, I don't, you didn't like hook, line, and sinker. I didn't buy it. I just didn't yeah. buy it. I'm like, no, who did it? There was a guy in the background who, uh, who basically is just like, who figured it out on the spot. He's like, Carl put it in his own pack, but yeah. nobody listened to him. And I just deleted that part off of the footage so it wouldn't remind you, but nobody was listening to him. And I was like, he just figured it out like immediately. Yeah. So was, kind of funny. I'm like, yeah. Carl. Putting Wait, rocks so here's, I value, you know, I value creativity. I don't, so like putting a rock in a pack, that's an age old prank. People have been doing that for decades. I value creativity. So I thought like framing you was the creative part of that. Mm, no, but yeah, it still got you to carry a rock in your pack, regardless if you're framing me, like you're still doing yeah, it. Yeah. Just up from the, I mean, literally it was like a hundred yards. You're wrong. hundred yards. It, it, it's still walking no, just, yeah. yeah okay so. I, you can convince yourself that it makes you feel you better. pranked yourself but thought you were pranking me exactly if you feel if you feel like that makes you sleep better at night go for it i okay. that whole prank went down and i did not walk away from that being like oh i got duped again like i didn't, yeah. I didn't well, feel everybody else thinks that so that's okay well, incorrect all right so then fast forward to let's see i'll talk about some failed pranks that happened uh let's but we had two pranks that happened mm. on last summer's trip all right do you okay. know give either one um no, I'm not remembering right now. What okay, was... so we literally talked about one in the last episode. Give me a cue. Give me a cue. <laughs> uh, the gummy bear. Oh, oh, the gummy bear. Card. Yeah, that was not. That, Nolan did that trick. That yeah, was great. So it's still part of the, our crew. So what happened? So again, this is like the rock in his own pack. He carries two, like, what were they? Three pounds each? They were a like pound, a pound each. I, a I pound each. They felt heavier, but I weighed them out. Dude, these yeah. huge gummy bears, uh, he puts, Nolan puts in his own pack and carries probably like a majority of the trip. No, yeah, the whole trip. Yeah. The whole trip. And then he goes up on top of a mountain by himself and does some film footage and then somehow magically comes back down and puts him in your pack. And then it was like, oh, my God, we got to camp after we got to camp. And then, oh, my gosh, Carl has like gummy bears in his pack. And I'm like, dude, but you carried those the whole way. Yeah, that's crazy. It doesn't matter. He he got me on that one. Like, I, I thought that I had been carrying them the whole time. And this is after Derek. Speaking of putting things in the pack, this is after you put 
the camera gear that you were supposed to carry, the only group gear you had for the trip in my pack, I've been carrying that for the last, <laughs> at that point it was like half the day. And so then I was like this plus the gummy bears. And so I actually put this clip onto YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. yeah. People can tell, like I'm holding in my anger basically. I'm holding, yeah. I'm like, See, this is why you're becoming one of those people. It's like, do I want to prank Carl? Or is no, 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 it's not that. It's, it's do you want to keep on like loading me up with stuff? <laughs> it's not you... creative. You just keep on putting junk in my pack. But then you're putting stuff in your own pack so people are going to be like, oh, he clearly thinks it's yeah, fun. That was, but now we're talking four years ago, right? So now we're now we're pretty far past that. Maybe if you wanted to be creative, let's get away from like stuff in the pack altogether. Whether it's yours Thank or you. Mine. Thank you for saying that. Good. Because uh, that's don't do it what I want to say. I'm specifically inviting our entire group to listen to this episode because – whether uh -huh. it's uh, from our crew, whether it's on a Patreon trip, I'm going to say no more junk in other people's pack. It's not very creative. It's not very, it's just like, it's kind of lame. And so but see, this is what I feel like you do because you're the target. You get annoyed and you're like, you know what? Trash in the pack, rock in the pack. Well, you're gummy the bear, like, you're, it's stupid. You were the one that suggested it. You're, I'm, 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 I'm saying if you want to get, you. if you want to get more creative, okay. if that's more creative for you, I think it's more like a, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a like a shtick now. I to haven't put, something put anything in, your pack. in anybody's pack. I know, but you don't like you've become this target of having something yeah. be in your pack. It's not fun anymore. I'm just gonna tell you that. So so this we've, is where, we've got that message loud and clear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can emphasize this enough. <laughs> don't do this. Do not do this. I'm not gonna invite you on the following trip. I'll probably laugh it off in the moment. Oh, ha, ha, you got me again. If you want to rage, internally I'll be like, yeah. If you don't want it, if you don't want me grabbing trekking poles and smashing them on the trail like Derek, then don't do that. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's not get defensive <laughs> with the trekking poles. So let, let's just clarify. Let's just all clarify right. for all listeners. Okay. Yeah. If I put some more lightweight trash in your pack. As opposed to a rock in your pack, which one's going to bother you more? The heavier one. Yeah, of course. So it's the okay. weight, right? It's the oh, weight. Oh, yeah, 100%. For sure. Okay. Which you can, yeah, I've, I've had pounds in my pack for, for years now, and I'm not as interested in that. So What if I, like, smeared animal feces on your bottom of your pack or something? Was this one of your suggestions for the, the trip? No, it's not. Okay. All right. So we'll get to that. All right. Let's talk about the other. So the last prank that I want to highlight, that this one actually worked. Yeah. We got this one camera too. Is this is day one, probably just like a couple hours of the trip. We keep on kind of like leapfrogging. This is pretty funny. This, this group is pretty of girls. Funny. Yeah. So, I, but anyway, so we're leapfrogging these these ladies, and they're just like fun ladies, just like kind of goofing around. They're just joking with us. And I, and so I get ahead a little bit and I say, Hey, can you pretend to like recognize me as like part of the backpacking and blisters podcast, <laughs> but not recognize Derek. <laughs> and she that was pretty funny. And she was a great actress. And she's like, she kind of she called us like backpacking in bushes or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's like, oh yeah, you're Carl from backpacking in bushes. <laughs> and then uh, uh and then somebody else like was like, hey Derek, like you got a fan or something. And you're like, oh yeah. And you kind of walk up and she's like, yeah, well, yeah, I recognize yeah. you. But not you. Oh wait, you're Carl, right? So like the what's it called? The uh, backpacking bushes? No way. What? Wait, like actually no, because I actually watch that at home. The, the like my dad watches it. Podcast? My dad watches it genuinely. Really? No, like genuinely. Actually, we got an early guy here. Well, what was? This, huh? is, uh, this is Derek. Derek, Derek's, Derek's my co-host right here. Do I get the? Do I gotta get the T-shirt out? Yeah. Uh, do I get the? I I recognize you. I'm sorry, I don't recognize. He's, he's hard to forget. He's yeah, hard. sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yeah, that's funny. So that's that was, good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Well, it, and that was like we we got the right group of of people. To yeah, do that, so that was all that all worked out perfect for you. Yeah, all right. I'm proud for you. It's good. Right. Okay, so yeah, all right. yeah. You're, you're you got a good attitude, but yeah, I like a good prank. Let me tell you about a failed prank. Oh boy, I've tried to get you multiple times with this. I brought this on multiple trips, and I can't pull it off, man. Maybe just retire it. Retire it's, it's it. A, it's a fun one, and this is I don't yeah. know how unique this is. Okay, so you get a a toy. Like a rubber snake. All right. <laughs> so the, the, no, no, no. Listen, it looks real. And then that's you the hard part. Yeah. Like mine looks pretty good because it's like, yeah, it looks, it looks legit. So then you tie around the neck of it, you tie some fishing line, and then you can tie okay. that off to like some sort of clip or even like one of those, you know, keychain carabiners. Okay. And okay. then you hook it to somebody's backpack. And you're talking to them. Somebody else is like talking to them in front of like, oh, you got a snake behind you. And then when you turn, because it's connected to you with the fishing line, it looks like it's jumping at you. So it looks like it's moving mm -hmm. at you. And so mm -hmm. just like your natural reflex is a jump. Mm -hmm. I've, mm -hmm. I've been pranked by this. Like I somebody got me. 
this has happened to me. And so That's I thought it was funny. funny. And so I've carried the stinking snake on three trips now. What was your reaction? Did you jump? I, oh, yeah. Squeal? Oh, yeah. It looks real. You were like, oh, I was, oh. and I was, dude, I was inside a building and it still freaked me out. Like, there's no reason why oh. that snake should be there. Yeah, because so, you're not thinking rationally. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I've, it, right? so I've tried to prep the prank twice. Once I was like, hey, guys, hey, just so you know, coming up, this is an area known for snakes. And I like announced that to the group. Oh and gosh. then I couldn't, I couldn't get it set up. Then last trip, I had Justin Outdoors do a little video like, hey, guys, we're coming up to like a snake zone and just kind of be aware that, you know, just like watch your feet kind of stuff. And then mm -hmm. I was like, Derek, OK, hey, Derek, let's do a video um, where we're just kind of like narrating what's going on. And then I give the snake to another guy, the guy that got me on the prank the first time. And then he was supposed to sneak up behind you and clip it to your pack while we're on video, like fake narrating. Yeah. And as we're fake, as I'm starting it. He and then the rest of the group that's in on the prank is standing behind the camera just staring at us. And I'm like, all right, are you guys ready? <laughs> and then they're like, yeah. I'm like, are you are you really ready? Like you need, and I can't say like walk behind me, right? Because I don't want to give it away. And right. they just they just were staring at us. And I was like, this uh, okay. I'm like, all right, Derek, let's do this later. And then it, it didn't happen. No, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I remember that moment. That's okay. good. That's so, uh that's good. So you carried a, a how big is this rubber snake? Like with all the, you know, like I don't know, it's probably like Two pounds? No, like six, seven ounces. Okay. So you're, you're adding more weight to your pack. I want to try right. again, man. Can you- For multiple can, years. Can you and I do this to somebody on the trail this year? I'll help you do it now that I'm aware of it. Okay. Uh, let's pick somebody and just try to get them. Well, we're pretty far out from the trip still. Can I still get you with this? I mean, maybe. Like, will you forget for about it. this? Oh, yeah. I'll forget about the snake. And dangling from my pack? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's going to be dangling from my pack. And yeah, like, gonna... well, it'll be on the ground, not dangle through your pack. It'll be on the ground, but when you move, it'll, like, jump up at you. Oh, like when I move my pack? Yeah, when you turn around to look at it. Like, if I'm okay. like, hey, you got a snake behind you. Maybe. I don't know. Or right. we can employ each other and uh, two prank masters and try mm -hmm. to get somebody legit. Well, I'm telling everybody, I'm warning them to listen to this episode ahead of time so they, they have full notice. Full knowledge. Yeah, full knowledge. I don't think it'll matter. Okay, we'll try it. Yeah. We'll sure. try it both ways. Okay, all right. So there you go. That's, that's our history of pranks and failed pranks. So, yep. all right, so let's talk about some like entry level. What's, what's kind of an easy prank that we haven't tried entry that maybe levels. somebody should try out there. Yeah. I mean, entry level prank. I mean, there's, there's a prank you can like paperclip the zippers together on a, on a tent and like lock your, you know, mates in a tent. <laughs> Wait, and, so you're on the, you got to explain buddy. So you're on the outside so of the like tent. So like you're on the outside of the tent. You hear people okay. in the tent. Yeah. The tent's closed. You hear people in the tent. <laughs> Creepy, I know. Okay. And then you, you sneak up ever so quietly like a little church mouse and you you slip in like a you bend a paper clip through you know there's usually two zippers yeah you bend it through the loops it's like tie a lock. it off yeah like a lock and then let let the rest happen naturally and that's that's pretty much it and then they, they yeah. have to like struggle to get out and they're gonna be like i can't open the zipper help me like like how much drama will be created because they can't get out of the tent and you'll have to go unlock them eventually so that's that's one idea that's a basic okay. you know i like that one that's, that's a, a good one, one. Not so good if like the person in the tent suddenly has like explosive diarrhea and has to get out of the tent because well, then you're sabotaging the tent. Well, that's why you do it with a tent you're not sleeping in. Fair, fair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. This I'm one. Gonna, I'm locking you in our tent. That's, yeah. That'd be stupid, you know. <laughs> this <laughs> one is great. So I got one great for kids and teenagers, especially if they're like new to backpacking or new to hiking. All right. So this one, you just show them ahead of time, like show a picture on your phone. Just be like, hey. Let's keep an eye out for some deer on this trip. Here's what we can kind of like look for signs. Here's what deer scat looks like. So you prep them with a picture. <laughs> All right. Prior to this, you've gone ahead a little ways in the trail and you either have milk duds or junior mints and you put them into a pile to make it look like deer scat. All right. Yeah. So yeah. then you hike down the trail and as you approach, you're like, look, we found some. You lean eat down, it, you it. grab one. You say, there's only one way to confirm this is deer scat and you eat one. That's, that's magical. And you savor it. And you just wash it around in your mouth. The whole thing. <laughs> Maybe pop it out. Stick your tongue out. You know? Make them really just understand what's going on. Have you done this one yet? We should do that. Yeah, I'll do Dude. this. I'll do, I'm going to do all these, man. So Dude, I'll, that I'll, would be I'll bring them. You should put the milk duds out, and then we should do it together to everybody. Yeah, it's better if yeah, somebody's like, Dude, yeah. Like deer scat, like, are you sure about that? And then you Carl, just, like, let's eat one. it and find out. And you're like, you know what? That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. On three, and then we right just there. do it. Yep. Just gobble it down. <laughs> just like you get half, I'll get half, and just gobble it. <laughs> the key is you got to set up a camera 
for the reaction, right? Is that's the key. We could always just be like, you know what? We're gonna um, run ahead and do a, a quick clip. A no, clip. no, no. I don't. I think you can sneak off and do that without us even saying anything, man. You think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, there you go. So that, yeah, that's my that's it's kind of one of my entry level ones. That's good. I got another that's entry good. level one, but what, what do you else got? I got I got the old. Uh, this one I, I I've seen somebody do this. Uh, oh, I haven't seen. It. I've I've read about somebody doing this. The glue, the glue, and the sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So you put glue instead of sunscreen. So they're putting it all. You know, they're lathering glue and spreading it all over their body. And you and you don't feel like that's mean spirited at all. I think. Well, no, because a the glue, the glue is gonna come off pretty easily. Like Elmer's glue or, or yeah, like Elmer's glue. glue or something. Not like super glue. Like Elmer's Gorilla glue. Or glue. I used to put Elmer's glue on my hands for fun and let it dry <laughs> and then peel it off <laughs> like an elementary school. That's all. That's where I was. Elementary at. school or, or college, either way. <laughs> um, but yeah, like rub them together to get like the, they look like glue boogers. Yeah, like glue boogers. Yeah. Okay. No, you you could like peel it off your palm. Anyway, whatever. Did whatever. you eat paste when you were in elementary school? No, but I knew a kid who actually smelled sniffed the white out. Okay, I, I ate the lot paste. Of I ate the paste. You ate paste? Yeah, it kind of tasted good. Like first grade. First okay, that's grade. creepy. I yeah. used to eat pieces of paper. <laughs> You're saying <laughs> I'm creepy? Okay, why, what, what's, what's what's tasty about the paper? Nothing. I just thought it was weird. I don't know. I was just like, I don't know. I'd just do it every now and then. Like a little tiny yeah. corner. I don't know. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, glue in the, in the sunscreen Okay. and uh, let them slather that on. So, so then they don't have sunscreen or how are you going to like... I, was I mean, obviously, to overcome that. Well, if you have a Rocky on the trip, he's going to have a full bottle, okay. so he's going to have for everybody. No. Not everybody has that. This is for no, everybody. But the hard part about this one nowadays is uh, it's like in a spray can bottle, so it's hard put, to do it. It's hard to put the glue in the spray can bottle is what you're saying. So you, well, you'd have to like get, yeah, you'd have, yeah it'd be hard to is do Is there that. aerosolized Elmer's glue? I don't think so. They have like I mean, 3M glue that's like aerosolized, but that's like super stick. <sighs> Yeah, that's super sick. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. So don't do that to me. I don't want that one. That you don't one, bring that, one, you, that one's too mean. Do you bring like a bottle of normal sunscreen? Some of you guys do. I bring the travel size. The hard part about it is you have to dig through their pack. And the, the way the best way to do that is probably like wait till they go like pit stop somewhere before the trip at the quickie yeah. mart and like dig through their pack for that sunscreen and go for it. Right. Although, yeah, I thought you were going to say like when they're going to the bathroom, like, and they've left their pack like at camp or something, they're going number two. Yeah. But then if that wouldn't work for you, because you're, you're going and looking for them. Going and looking for them. Although, you know what you should do? You should, you should bring an extra bottle, empty, and put their sunscreen in that. So after the prank, you'd be like, all right, here's your sunscreen. I got your sunscreen. <laughs> okay. I don't know what kind of sunscreen bottles you have. Mine has like a little squeeze hole that comes out of it. I'm not like refilling and unfilling bottles. Like, you know, <laughs> get your, your mini toothbrush water squeezable bottle and uh, put it in that. You made fun of me for it. There you <laughs> why, go. Would I, why would I make fun of that? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you got? What's your next one? Okay. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, <sighs> this is you can do this two ways. I've had this done to me two ways. One is this is like again, this is entry level. All right, so you hike ahead. So this is what like Tupperware Mike did this to me recently. You okay. hike ahead, you hide, and then you jump out at somebody to scare them. Okay. Okay. Other thing you can do: you hike ahead, you hide, everybody passes you, and then you come up behind them. Ooh. As if, like, you've never stopped hiking. Like, hey, how'd you guys get ahead of me? Just confuse That's, them. They're going to be like, you're dumb. This is, like, for kids or for teenagers. It's like, entry level. Entry level, man. Come yeah. on. All right. That's fair. Yeah. That's that's the best one you got right there? No. What okay. else you got? I got... I've saved my good one for last. You wanted two to three. So... Uh, yeah, I got, I got two more. That's all right. Okay. I got... I saved my best one for last. Now, I was going to do this, but... I think you're too sensitive for it, so I didn't do it. Well, I, I am was, about. I don't want glue on my face. If that's what you're asking. If glue is going to bother you, then this would have bothered you for sure. So I, right. I saw this actually on multiple YouTube videos of people doing this to each other on the trail. So I, so I thought this before I saw it on YouTube, but it was to fake the injury prank. <laughs> Wait, so, so then why did you watch it on YouTube if you already thought of it? Well, because I was, was you looking. Like, are you like, what's this going to actually? How's this going to play out? No, because I was looking for other pranks and stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, some uh, these other people were doing the prank I wanted to do. I'm like, how did they do it? I'm like, oh, okay. So, so my idea was to like get some fake blood from like a you know prop store, a costume store, like wherever, mm -hmm. and I would like run up a like I would run up ahead or get up ahead somehow, 
uh, in a natural way. I'm not going to just be like, I'm going to go run out, run ahead of everybody randomly, but just, you know, naturally get ahead of everybody. Yeah. Cause and really then, fast. That would just be natural. Super though. fast. Super fast. Yeah. So then I would wait till there's like a great spot where there's like a, maybe like a semi jagged cliff or like a hill or something with some rocks that look really sharp. And I would get ahead and I would squirt some blood, like on the rocks, put some on yeah, my this head. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And I would be laying there. Highly with, inappropriate. Like, Keep I would be laying there with like blood all over me. And then I'd, oh I put it, I, I would make sure everybody else knew about it except you. And then I would be like, and have them all freak out and be yeah. like, dude, what the, you know, and have, have you yeah. like go up there. But I think you're too sensitive for it. You would be. Too... No, you told me about this years ago. And I said no to this one. Yeah. I, said, I don't this think you can like, handle it. I said, we're, we, we're, we're going over the line. And then, especially if we had like different people in our group that maybe, I don't know if they were in on it, that's one thing, but I could see somebody being like, what red button press right away. And then like, before you even like have a chance to be like, just kidding you know, helicopters coming. Yeah. That's why you let everybody else know, except you, the guy that has the Garmin in reach. Nice. Uh, well, we make sure that Rocky's holding the Garmin in reach. Okay. So that it's been and confiscated from the person. Rocky's like, dude, Carl, I will hold the Garmin in reach. Yeah. You know, he'll, I'll give him some way. He's good at like, I'll do it. No, let me have it. You know, he I would like it. to share that I came you. up with a title for this episode before hearing Derek's ideas, knowing that he would come up with mean trail pranks. I was correct. What do you mean? You already knew this one, and you knew I would talk about it. I No, I actually didn't know you were talking about it. I was going to bring it up as an example of what not to do. Well, that is what I almost did and chose not to because I have sensitive friends, okay? okay? So that's... that's All right, well, weigh in. What do you think, folks? Is is Derek's prank mean-spirited, or is it just all in good fun? If everybody knows and thinks it's hilarious <laughs> and it's all in good fun, it's like you're with your buddies who you've known forever. I don't forever. even need to repackage it. Just... Just ignore anything I said. Listen to Derek's idea. What do you guys think? Oh, boy. Here. <laughs> the mockery. <laughs> you know what? Just for your mockery level alone, I think everybody in the BB family will be like, you know what, Derek? You should do that to Carl. He deserves a little <laughs> probably, bit. You're probably All right. of this horrible it's meanness. Not, okay, this is not just about what we're doing to each other. This is like we're suggesting to everybody else out there as well. Well, you mm. know, if you have that friend who's really annoying, like I do, gang, <laughs> uh, this might be the trick for you. Might be the prank for you. All right. Okay. Let's talk about the person who's on the trip that maybe gets a little bit too nervous about the sounds outside their tent. Oh. Okay. Okay. You can tape reflective circles to bushes nearby that are about the distance away from, you know, as if they're, they're like eyes, like reflective eyes in the bushes. You can pre <laughs> you can get you can pre-download recordings of like growling sounds on your phone. Put your phone in the bushes. Have somebody peek out with their headlamp or their flashlight to see the reflective eyes. They call it eye shine in Derek's world. And eye shine. Eye shine. Yeah. If you've watched any Bigfoot documentaries, they're looking for eye shine. And uh, yeah, so kind of startle them a little bit. What do you think about that one? I think it'd be better if you didn't use your phone. I think it'd be better if growling you... sounds. Well, hear me out. Because the phone speaker is like, eh, you know, I think people can distinguish. It sounds a little like mechanical it's maybe a, if you yeah but I was, I'm what if you like, like a low Bluetooth volume speaker. like low yeah oh bluetooth is a good idea like a bluetooth speaker with That's really good. good sound right and okay. then you put it in there and it yeah. had like that bassier sound yeah that might that might like the, we had that one trip where we you and i we talked about this, heard a dog like a legit dog but that was a real dog that wasn't a, that wasn't a, like a recording it was a real dog right but i could we have like i don't know if there was a way to like amp that up and do it again somehow mm. Yeah. Well, the reason why that's, that's a big deal is because it was barking in the morning in Yosemite where dogs are not allowed and there was nobody camped near us. So we had no idea where it was coming from. Like a random stray dog. It's been like a loose dog that like got way up on the trail. I don't know. Yeah. So who knows? It freaked us out though. That did freak us out. Okay. That's a good suggestion. So, okay. So let me, let me piggyback on your thought there because if you're the kind of person that brings the Bluetooth speaker and just blares music out of your pack and, and really makes everybody happy around you, then you already mm -hmm. have the speaker. You can kind of just add on to that with a little bit of tape. Reflect, reflective tape. A little bit of tape. Yeah, reflective tape for the circles. The tape. eyes. Eye shine. Is yeah. the eye shine that believable, though? If you do it right, if you go to, like, you know, Michael's and not just Walmart. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Wow. Okay. okay. And I was joking about the Bluetooth speaker. That's like the number one way to make everybody angry on the trail is oh, music. My gosh. All right. That's true. Right. Last one. This one, I think you gotta you gotta get somebody either catch them off guard or mm. somebody who's a little bit naive to the backcountry. All right. Yeah. Say, hey, and this one I feel like I could easily pull off. So you offer to filter somebody's water. All right. 
There we go. And then, so you filter the water, you get it, get, you know, you put it in their water bottle and then you like spike it with a bunch of salt, just pour salt, shake it up. Okay. While they're not looking. Yeah. Yeah. Then as you're handing it back to them, just come and be like, you know, what? it's so weird that, that there's salt water streams in these mountains here. And then just have them taste it. See if you convince them. It's, it's decent. Okay. It's decent. I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. So that salt water. And you just pour it out. Like you just refilter again. So since okay. I like filter for everybody, this is easy for me to do. Yeah, I was gonna. I knew you were gonna come back to you with this one. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come back to you. Cause I filter water for everybody. This is the the I burden. That, this is the burden that I carry. Okay, well, what happened death. last year? I required that everybody bring their own filter. Oh, uh, one guy brought a broken filter. One guy just chose not to. And then <laughs> and then I filtered my own water. And then you commented, you're like. Wow, Carl, way to just focus on yourself and do your own filtering for yourself over there. <laughs> that was on purpose. <laughs> it's like we're supposed to. That was what I the know, I'm kidding. Oh uh, that was that, that did not turn out the way I thought it would. I think I had like four people ask me to like, I can know. you hey, can you filter my water? Yeah. I, I became know. you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you became did. you. Did you like it? How, how did how did it, I become you and you got away with it? You had that um what was that like shoddy looking uh it was like it was, a, it was a Solomon filter. Yeah, but it was so small. And yeah. I think you did that on it purpose. It worked great, man. I mean, it, it just, the, the, it didn't hold up. It, so it's like cheap, but for what I was using for, for that trip, it worked great. Lightweight. And it was great. lightweight, small, and you're like, yeah, you know, this it's is just, just it, you, you got away with it. Yeah. You got away with it. So Sometimes. if that's not a prank, I guess that's kind of a prank. <laughs> Wait, he's bringing my own filter and <laughs> using my own filter. Bringing a dinky small filter <laughs> that could only filter your water and lasted one trip. Okay. So the people were like, ooh. If I use his filter, it's going to take an hour and a half. Let, oh, Derek's got like two big ones over here. Let's go yeah. do that. So. I'm going to do it again, man. So just beware. I'm not so, surprised. all right. Well, okay. So if you had to sum up all the pranks, like what's a main takeaway, main theme takeaway from the whole conversation? Main takeaway is to have fun with your friends. The main okay. takeaway is to, it can be a great way to bond with your friends. Cause, because like, you know, after the trip, a lot of the, a lot of these trips we do and it's like, you know, you know, a lot of times you remember the silly things that happened or the things that went wrong. Right. or or whatever so um those are the highlights okay. and stuff like that so i think it can really add to a i think it adds to the bonding experience of the trip for sure all right if you do that, it right that was actually well said and mine is uh, a lot more simplistic than yours well you know that's my, higher higher thinking and lower thinking yeah my, thing. mine's more intentional though mine is uh mm. just mm. don't put junk in my pack stop that's, doing it everybody yeah. everybody yeah. out there sounds mature okay Glad you have a hold of your emotions finally, and uh, that's good. All that's, right, that's so fine. let us know. Do you have a prank out there? Like, like no, none of the typical cliche pranks. Anything creative that we should mention in a future episode or try on our upcoming trip? We would love to hear. Whether you know it's YouTube comments, Instagram, email, we'll take whatever. We'll take anything, whatever. anything. Like, okay. who doesn't love a good prank story, right? Yeah, exactly. As long as for me, I'm not looking for mean spirit. I'm looking for just fun gotchas. So. I'm looking for whatever you can give me. You know, you're I looking to upset people and traumatize them. If you a little bit, no, I I think it's uh <laughs> I could take that mean spirited prank and then hopefully twist it into something beautiful. You know, and then <laughs> make you. I could turn sense. that. I could turn that thorn into a rose, if you will. <laughs> Everybody believes you. Everybody does. I'm sure they do. All right. really I've know. got historical hoax trivia Ooh. coming up right for this. All right, I'm going to so. try and fail this trivia because I know that you want me to do whatever. What was the what was my punishment again? We can talk about punishments again. Okay, yeah. So let's see. So my punishment wasn't it? I got to like weigh packs on the trail and interview people like on camera. Isn't that what that was? You still and you still it's just, it's win win for me even if I lose trivia because you still have to jump in a lake with everybody from last year. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't do your you didn't do it. Yeah. So. Yeah. What was your like, what was your thing? Last you had year? To, no, no, no. What's your, what's your punishment for this year? Oh, Are I know. You, it was, um, you have to, I'm going to, you have to like pass out Werther's Originals candies as if you're grandpa yeah. on the trail. As if I'm a grandpa? Yeah. So I, like act like a grandpa? Yeah. Correct. That's, so I have to bring like a gray wig or something? No, no. Like you're just your general behavior. Would fit the bill. Okay. All right. I'll figure something out. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Historical hoax trivia. Three questions. Uh, the second two are multiple choice. The first one's not, Ugh. but it's so commonly known. I would be surprised if you like, I'll even take like a description of it and that'll. that'll <sighs> All right, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. Number one. In 1938, a radio broadcast caused a widespread panic in America. Name either the name of the story that was broadcast, the author or what the broadcast was about. 
A broadcast in 1938. This is like World War II. Uh, this is no. Right, that's it's, that was it's right, right after before that. World War II. Right yeah. before World War II. Um, yeah, you're close. It has nothing to do with World War II. I, it was something widespread it? panic people are getting in their cars they're driving yeah, yeah, away yeah, yeah 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 i think it was something it was like an alien invasion or something there right? you go war mars. of the worlds orson war welles of the worlds yes yeah, correct war of the worlds. Close yeah enough. yeah Good mars job. was invading new jersey people believed it people yeah. believed it <laughs> totally yeah. i can see that just like they believe everything we say on the podcast very Ex similar well that makes sense yeah okay number two so the rest of these are multiple choice in 2009 a boy was hidden by his parents in the attic of their house. They claimed the boy was actually either A, in a hot air balloon that lost control and is floating aimlessly, B, kidnapped by Sasquatch in a recent visit to a forest in the Pacific Northwest, C, lost in another dimension from a portal that mysteriously opened in the pantry, or D, lost during an intense game of hide-and-seek. This is these these questions you have are just this is 2009. This is like relatively recent history. This made massive news, man, during your uh, lifetime. Hmm. During your golden years. During my golden years. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say, oh gosh. I think it was was it the I wanna say it was um so we had the balloon, the the Bigfoot, the porthole, and the and the, what was the last hide one? and seek game. Hide and seek. Yeah. Uh, I I want to say it was the uh, balloon. Correct, balloon boy, balloon, balloon boy. boy. Yeah, they they hoaxed everybody, and they were like, you know, where did balloon boy go? It was just this massive hoax, like because there's like so a kid in a balloon. Yeah, it's freak, freaks parents out. That was that was not a very nice hoax. Ridiculous. Number too three. far, too far. All right, number three. So you pass trivia. So this is <gasps> bonus one. <gasps> In 1917, two young British girls were supposedly taking random pictures with a camera they were playing with in a garden. When the uh -huh. pictures were developed, there appeared to be some small creatures hanging out with them. What creatures? A, Ooh. leprechauns, B, sprites, C, hobbit babies, or D, fairies? Wait, are sprites, are, sprites and fairies aren't like the same? I think fairies like fly around, sprites just kind of run around. Sprites? <laughs> <laughs> great description sprites <laughs> run around fairies fly is that around. right am i wrong i don't know what a sprite is i don't okay. know i don't watch Tinkerbell they're like the same enough. size but they just i don't know if they interact at all i don't know if it's friends. gotta be uh, sprites just seems too lame uh it's gotta be like fairies or something fairies is correct dude three for three yeah. folks trivia man and wow. they are yeah wow fairies. okay fairies yeah, little yeah, girls so fairies you know Makes sense. Yeah, so they they added the pictures afterwards. It was like before Photoshop, so it was very hard to manipulate. Uh, Somebody figured out a way, and they succeeded. And people are like, "Whoa, fairies are real!" But that's they weren't crazy. Yeah. So there you go, that's, folks. We survived. I survived. That's good. You did. Okay. Well, we'll do an update on trivia maybe next episode. But okay. um, yeah. you know what? You know what? What? That's all I got. No tids. All right. Well, I got a bit for you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Check out all the social media handles at backpackingblisterspodcast.com. Uh, and if you're telling me, this is what Carl thinks is a prank. If you're just telling, if he's telling me like where he's going pee pee poo poo, like that's not a prank. <laughs> that's not a prank. <laughs> we will see you next time. 